Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're experiencing a Windows installer package error, depending on what application you're running. There are many different programs that could be causing this. So, in this brief tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to hopefully resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing you want to do is open up the registry editor. So, open up the start menu, type in regedit. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. If you see a user account control prompt, just left click on yes. Now you want to create a backup with the registry, which is what I would highly suggest before you proceed in this tutorial. In order to do that, just put, go and left click on computer up at the top of this list. So then it says computer up in the path up here. So click on computer and then left click on file, export. Save the file as something that you'll be able to easily recognize, such as the date in which you're creating the backup. You want to set the export range to all and then save it to a convenient location on your desktop. If you ever made a mistake and had to go back in and change what you did and restore the registry to what it was before you started this tutorial, just will on the file tab and then import and then you just would navigate over that file and then import it back in. So pretty straightforward. So once you've done that, you want to expand the H key classes root folder. So either double click on the folder or left on the little arrow next to it to expand it. And now just left click on a random folder under this drop down and type in MSI and one of the best results should come back with msi.package. You want to go ahead and either double click on this folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. Now you want to expand the shell folder. Right click on the shell folder itself, left click on new, and then left click on key. You want to call this key run as, so R-U-N-A-S, exactly what appears on my screen. Hit enter once you're done creating that key. Now you want to double click on the key that's currently in here. Underneath value data, you want to go call it something very specific here. So you want to type in install as, you want to do the and sign. So basically it's going to be that sign that's right above the 7 key on your keyboard. I think officially it's called the ampersand sign. So it's a logogram and it's Latin for and. You want to just make sure you have it exactly as it appears on my screen. And then without doing any spaces, you want to type in administrator. So admin administrator exactly appears on my screen. Left click on OK. And now you want to go right click on the run as folder. Left click on new. And then left click on key. Now you want to name this key CO MMAND, so command. And now on the right side, you want to double click on this default key. The value data. It's very important here, you want to type in MSI, EXEC, space, forward slash I, space, and then you want to do a quotation, percent sign, number one, and then another quotation sign to end it off. So exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, MSIEXEC space forward slash I and then you want to do a space quotation sign percent sign number one and then a little quotation mark again at the end so notice I'm talking about quotation marks like not like a parenthesis this is a quotation mark so once you have it exactly how it appears on my screen here you should be able to just left click on OK Close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that's resolved the problem. Again, it's very important the syntax you use in this tutorial because you want to follow along exactly as I show it. So hopefully this was a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.